everyone, welcome to Syncrix. In today's video, I'll be talking about Rust Desk self hosted server. I'll be using Ubuntu Server 20.04. Now you can see here the service is started and the server is ready now. Set up Rust Desk on your own server, and for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using Ubuntu Server 20.04. So complete guide is available here on my blog. So I have provided the full detail here for the rest as setup server guide on Ubuntu server. So here is the complete installation procedure. So I'll be installing it on Oracle cloud infrastructure. So I'll be setting up complete server here. This will be my first instance and here I'll be saying a rust desk server i'll be using always free here i'll be choosing the image which will be ubuntu server 20.04 and create now my private key is already here and here be, i'll be using putty putty keygen and this is the private key which is available without doing anything here i'll be just saving the private key whatever name of the server you want to have now this key has been saved here so i will be able to access it and now you can see here the server is definitely running i'll be taking the server ip address here first of all i need to make sure that port 22 is available i'll just go to virtual cloud network which is already connected to my server and here port 22 is already available uh, rust us will be using these ports so uh, tcp port 2115 to 2119 and then uh, tcp port 8000 and then again udp port for 2116 i need to now create the dns record for my private ip address or public ip address so my syncbricks domain is already set up i'll be adding a new dns record which will be rustest.syncbricks.com and if you see here it will create the record of rustest which will be pointing to this particular ip address save the record what's my dns.com and let me ensure that DNS is already pointing to the IP address so that we save the time later. And here you can see that uh, the IP address is already updated. So I'll be opening rustdesk.syncbricks.com and I will start installing the Rust Desk on this particular server using the guide which I have provided here. I'll just increase the size here so that you can see it clearly. Let me take it to 14. So, first of all, just make sure that uh, the server is up to date and uh, server is upgraded so i'll be running this everything is upgraded already i have already enabled these ports on my cloud server but in case if you want to see the status of the uh, firewall uh, right now on this particular server firewall is disabled sudo ufw status you can see here that status is inactive which means that firewall is not enabled on this server and uh, once uh, the services will be running on these ports so these ports will be already open first of all i'll be running this script of course these are three lines uh, first it will be downloading the installation script i'll be running these commands one by one to ensure that you understand this so first of all it will be downloading file from github and you can see here the install.sh is available now on the root folder so if i show you the files it is here available uh, install.sh now i'll be just uh, uh, giving the rights to this file so here change mode x and now the file is available of course install.sh now i'll be of course running the file install.sh it has done all the packages and utilities that had to be required for installing uh, rust desk and after this it is saying me that what do you want to use for the rust desk server do you want to use the ip address or do you want to use the dns or domain of course i'll be using dns or domain so i'll be choosing number two and then what will be your domain so i'll be using rustdesk.syncbricks.com So it is saying that HTTP server is not installed. So you need to download and install. I will say yes. Number one option. That's it. You can see here HTTP server install and your public key is this. Install Rust Desk on your machine and change your IP address. Now you can see here that the 
Rust desk is configured and it is saying that uh, to finish the install, you have to press any key. First of all, I'll copy all of this information which is available to me. You can see here that uh, your IPDNS address is rustdesk.syncbricks.com and public key is here. So client script is available on this particular uh, web server here and user ID is admin and password is here. So I'll be just going here into rustdesk.syncbricks.com enter it here it is asking for the user id and password i'll enter the user id and password is available here here you can see that two installation scripts are available one is for the linux and another is for windows you can of course download the client from here and uh, then you can put the configuration into that but instead of uh, doing that i will recommend you to download the windows installation agent so i'll download it here I'll open the PowerShell with the administrator privileges here. Run as administrator. So in shell, I'll be changing the directory here. And if I show you uh, Windows, so this particular package is here Windows PowerShell. This one, and I'll just install this. Now you see here it shows that running the script is disabled on this system and for more information uh, you you have to see the execution policies so if i talk about the execution policy of course i have provided you in details in the blog also in windows when you are running the script so you have to make sure that your ex execution policy is not restricted so if i go here to shell i'll show you here get uh, execution policy list you can see here that for the machine policy is undefined user policy is undefined process is undefined current user it is restricted and local machine is also restricted so i'll be enabling the uh, execution policy for the process so instead of get user get execution policy i'll be setting the user policy for process so i have provided you that also here if you see here execution policy unrestricted and scope is process so copy this command here and go back here to powershell and run this and it will ask for the confirmation i'll give the confirmation yes and now if i go back and run that script again here it will allow you do you want to run this i will run this and once i click r it will have the pre-configured client installed now rust desk is available here the server is ready right now and if i show you the details of the server ID relay server, you can see here that ID is rustest.syncpricks.com. Relay server is rustest.syncpricks.com. API is here, API server, and key is available here. It is pre configured, you don't need to do anything here. To ensure that whether this is connected to the same server or rustest default server, I'll just simply go here. Let me stop the service. If I go back to the rustest relay server and I stop this server here, and I'll stop the signal service also and here is the signal service and i'll stop this service also now we'll try to open rust desk again and if you see here it shows connecting to rust desk network and it is not connecting because right now of course the services are stopped so if i see the status of this service status of this service it is inactive right now and if i see the status of the signal service also this is also inactive command to restart the service and at the same time i'll show you service is running of course now you can see here the service is running again and if i stop this again if i stop the relay server also you'll notice that connecting to rust test network and it will fail to connect now i'll restart the relay server and i'll restart the uh, signal also go here you see the side by side also enter now you can see here the service is started and the server is ready now and here is on the same network i have connected another system also so i'll try to connect it and here now my rest desk is connected and here if i show you the other client also so id relay server you can see here rust test or syncpricks.com and this is also connected to the same server.
and uh, you can see here that performance is great and if you are running it on of course local server uh, it will be great so hope this has helped you to understand that how you can install and uh, configure your rust as server i'll again restrict the policy now here you can see here to restrict the policy again so i'll just go back here to the powershell and here i'll be typing you can see here everything is restricted process current user and local machine of course user policy and machine policy can be changed from the group user policy so i can simply exit the server now and all my machines will be connecting to the rust desk local server so this was all about installing rust desk on your own server so hope you like this video if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to give me your feedback in the comment section below don't forget to join the channel once you become member there are special perks available for all the members so see you next video take care and goodbye